Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas and today I want to introduce you to my new Pivot Twin Plus trailer. This is going to be fun. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Now I've been testing boards and fins for years and over time I formed an opinion. Remember, born and raised on thrusters. What I love about a thruster is when I go to the bottom, doesn't matter if it's front side or back side, I put the board on rail, it has that hold. The board is stable and I can push hard through that turn and get the drive I'm looking for to either get up in the lip and do a maneuver or get down the line. So after riding twin fins for the last few years, that sensation that I'm looking for that I get from a thruster, I want it in a twin fin. Now I know it draws a different line. Twin fins are really fast, but I want that hold both front side and back side. So I started with a high performance keel. And what I love about this particular keel is it has a wide base. You can see it's got good fin area here, so that's going to offer the drive and the hold. And then as I get up into the tip, it's a little bit more upright. It's got a refined tip, so I'm going to get pivot and release because the tip's a little bit narrower. So everything I'm talking about is performance in the pocket. If you follow the show, you know I like to surf top to bottom, whether I'm riding a thruster, a twin fin, or a twin plus trailer. Now the second fin that I designed is the HP Twins. You can see it still has that wide base. So I'm going to have that drive. It's got less fin area up in here compared to the HP Keels. So it's going to be faster rail to rail. It's going to be quicker top to bottom. It's going to offer more performance. And even with this tip a little bit refined, it still offers that release I'm looking for. So these two performance twin templates surf completely different. However, one thing remains is I'm looking for a certain feel. I'm looking for a certain type of performance from the fins that I'm designing. Now that brings me to the new pivot twin plus trailer. Now I've been riding twin plus trailer for longer than what I've been riding twin fins for. This little stabilizer really gets the board to settle down. What I like about the stabilizer is it keeps the tail nice and loose, but you have something not only that stabilizes the board, but it also gives you something to push off of. So it kind of feels like a thruster on steroids. And what I mean is the side fins on the Pivot Twins have the wide base. It's got a decent or good fin area, and then it has a little bit wider tip so it gives me that hold. So picture your thruster side fins are quite a bit smaller than these side fins. So with the bigger base, more fin area, even though it's pivotal, so it's pretty upright, it's gonna give me more drive and it's still gonna get me into the lip quick. Now by adding that stabilizer, kind of feels a bit like a thruster. Let me give you a good example. So we were just at BSR Surf Resort and I took the 5.3 RNF 96. Super fun board. I started riding it with the HP Twins. So it does have good drive. It does have good hold. And it was doing good turns, both front side and back side. But one thing I noticed with the HP Twins is when I went to the bottom to do the bottom turn, it had the hold and I had some drive. But because the board is so short at 5'3", there wasn't enough rail line to give me that squirt I was looking for to get me where on the wave where I wanted to be. So I got out of the water and I put in the Pivot Twin plus trailer and it changed everything. And I'll tell you why. So this is quite a bit smaller fin on the side compared to the HP Twins. However, I talk about this little trailer giving the board the stability. And for me, I felt like the board was stable with the HP Twins, but I didn't have that center fin to push off of. And as soon as I put the stabilizer in, it kind of like added two inches in rail line. There was the weirdest thing. It was like I put it on rail, the board would come squirt and would drive off the bottom. And it pretty much changed everything. Now, I've had maybe four or five different iterations of side fins that I've been testing. I'm looking for something specific. And I'm running in a bunch of different board types. You can see I've got the Rocket Wide Squash Tail. I've got the Pizel Mini Ghost. I have the Rusty Miso, and then I've already talked about the RNF 96. Each of these boards are different lengths, 
and they all have a different feel underfoot. But what's consistent about this pivot twin that I chose is that it has maximum drive, hold, it's getting into the lip quick and release compared to all the other Twin Plus trailers, not only that I was testing in the R&D process, but also what's on the market today. Now, I've been testing fins for years, both in the Futures and FCS2, and I've got my favorites in those brands, and I've got a few in the Futures lineup here just to size up next to the new Pivot Twin so you can see the difference in template. This is the T1. I really like it a lot. I've used it in a bunch of different um, board types, but when I set it up next to the Pivot Twin, you can see that the Pivot Twin's a bit more upright. It's got a wider base. There's more fin area, so that's gonna give me more drive and more hold. And because it's more upright, it's gonna get me into the lip faster, and it's a bit deeper into the water. So that just means that's gonna give me more hold too. Now, if you follow the show, you know that Aquila Ipus Twin is excellent, and I've been using it for the last couple years, and I really like this fin template too. But when I size it up to the new Pivot Twin, you can see that the Pivot Twin is quite a bit bigger. Once again, I'm looking for that drive. I'm looking for that performance and hold. Now, the Almeric Twin, I ran this in a bunch of like the, the Rocket Wide Swallowtail, the Black Vulture 2, this fin's excellent too. It's got a wide base. It's a great pivot fin. It's pretty upright with a refined tip. Let's just size this up so we can see the difference here. You can see still, this base is a little bit bigger, a little bit more fin area here, and this um, Almeric Twin is a little bit more upright compared to our pivot twin. So a lot of different variables, and each fin will have its own difference in right underfoot. Now the last fin is the T2. Now this is the closest thing Futures makes to the MRs. I love the MRs, I've ridden those a bunch. Those are a great fin too, but let's size them up. Now this can be a little harder to see because it's a black fin, but you can see right here, it's got a wider base and a lot more fin area and it's going a little bit deeper into the water and roughly similar in pivot. A bit wider base, I mean a wider tip here, so that's gonna give me more hold. Guys, I, I do all this so you have a visual that what I'm making is currently different than what you've probably ridden in the past, but this fin, what I love about it, it's got that drive, the hold, and I remember riding it in the Uber Twin on this left and going top to bottom with, with good flow. For me, I was feeling like I could push as hard as I want, and there was no limitation on getting the board pretty straight up and vertical, but not losing any speed from turn to turn. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode on my new Pivot Twin Plus trailer. We make it in Futures and we make it in Twin Tab to fit those FCS2 boxes. You guys are gonna be stoked. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.